Hey girl, hey, welcome back to my channel. You are watching something about Drea. I am Drea. And in today's video, home girls, I'm gonna be sharing with you guys my perfect uh, Father's Day gift guide to buying your man, your boyfriend, your sweet thing, your honey, or whatever he is, the perfect Father's Day gift. Cause y'all, y'all be giving y'all me some boring gifts. Okay, man, he don't want no socks, okay? He don't. <laughs> so if you girls care to see my tips, um, girl, just make sure you stay tuned and keep on watching, okay? Because y'all know I'm going to get you together, honey. Let's get into the video. Baby, 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 you driving me wild, you driving me so crazy. Got me acting out, got me trying to stay sober. Got me trying to stay sober. One of your love and I'm out here hungover. Okay, girl. So I had to calm down. Y'all, I had to laugh at myself. But yeah, that man don't want no more socks. He don't want no more boxers. He don't want none of that. It's boring. Okay, since we've done it a thousand times over and over. So I took my time with this one, ladies. And I broke this down into categories because it was hard. I realized why we keep giving boring gifts. It's just hard shopping for men. I don't know why, but in my mind, it, it's just so hard. So I broke it down into categories. Um, I categorized the men by um, things that they like to do. Like, for instance, um, my first category, we have the entertainer type of guy. You know, he likes to have his friends over. He likes to have parties. He likes to drink. That kind of guy, okay? So, if you got that kind of guy, sis, I got you. Okay? Guy number two, he is going to be the car lover. He's going to be into his, his car, other cars. He just likes nice cars. So, if you got a guy like that, sis, I got you. Okay, guy number three. This one, to me, I still ain't got him all the way figured out. He's still, he's very complicated, sis. It's hard to shop for him, but I think I got something. It's not as exciting as the first two categories, but I got something for the guy that likes clothes and shoes. You know, he's into his attire, what he wears, how he dresses, things like that. I got something for you, sis, too. Okay, so let's just go ahead and get started because I feel like this introduction is way longer than what it needs to be. Okay, so let's shop for guy number one. Okay, sis, guy number one is the entertainer. He likes to party. He likes to entertain his friends. He likes to have guests come over, whether he's entertaining indoors or outdoors. This guy, okay. So gift number one for this kind of guy, you can actually get him a mini bar. You can get him a mini bar, one that's kind of more uh, permanent in your home, depending on if you have the space or not. If you need something a little more small because it's going to take up too much space, you can even do a bar cart for your man, for your boo, okay, for your husband, whoever you shopping for. You can do a bar cart or you can do a mini bar. Um, if you want to go the more affordable route for the entertainer, um, you can also get... Um, what do you call it? Like the bartending sets where they have the mixers with the glasses and also the ice bucket. Just get him, you know, something to add to his bar collection. Maybe if he already has a bar or a little mini fridge, something like that. Just get him a little something to add to his collection and make him look a little bit more professional. Let him show off when his homeboys come over, you know, by pulling out his little drinking set. Um, I feel like that is a great gift idea. Or you can even get him a personalized flask with his name on it, favorite football or baseball team, basketball team, something like that. You can get him a flask. I'm going to have images of everything that I'm um, mentioning here in this video just to give you girls, you know, kind of an idea of how to shop for your man, you know, where you can get this stuff. And everything that I'm naming is pretty affordable um yeah because we're not gonna go too crazy but we're not doing the basic and boring this year for father's day okay also for the entertainer sis if you got a real pretty penny to spend and it doesn't even have to be super expensive but if you got a little bit more to spare a little bit more to spend you can always get your entertainer you can get him a grill like they have really nice gas grills they got nice smokers you can get them from your local um uh Lowe's or Home Depot they have really nice grills um especially if he's into that kind of thing you know he likes to entertain and he likes to get on that grill um barbecue for the family for your friends definitely purchase him a new grill trust me he'll he'll probably do some cartwheels okay sis he gonna go crazy over that grill if, if that's what he's into um I feel like you cannot lose with that also um that's it for our entertainer um i feel like those ideas are girl take them and run with them okay go okay so guy number two is going to be the car lover 
um he's really into his car he likes nice cars whatever the case may be if you have a guy that's into cars you can get him personalized seat covers they don't have to be like real cheesy to where like you get his name on them or anything but there's this website it's called car bedding they have really nice leather car seating it is it called car seating car seat covers y'all know what i'm trying to say they have really luxurious looking car seat covers they look like leather they just look really nice really you would think that these seats are in a luxury car i mean you know a luxury car um also for the car lover you can get those little led lights that go um underneath the car y'all know how y'all see them at night those cars right and they have the led light under the car sometimes they're blue sometimes they're green um sometimes they just uh rotate colors i feel like i feel like if your guy if he's into that type of thing that is a nice gift to get um your guy that is into cars um also on, along the same lines of getting the led lights if he's not as flashy and he's not into the car lighting on the outside of the car you can always get the led lights that go inside of the car like underneath the dash and they just illuminate in the car and it just looks so nice at night you can get it um with the led lights and you don't even have to choose a color because they come where you can um rotate the colors throughout or you could pick a color so you don't have to be too specific with that also if you're a guy if he has a nice car already or if he's working on you know fixing up his car you can also get it's this light that goes into the car um that when the car door opens the light actually illuminates the symbol of the car on the ground i have an image here of what i'm talking about y'all i feel like that is so cool like and it does not have to be a luxury car for you to do it they make it for all brands it could be a chevy toyota honda it could be an infinity it could be a mercedes whatever kind of car y'all get the picture so whatever kind of car um you can get that for him also if he likes to travel um once again he's into his car he likes to travel so you know he's going to want to keep his car neat you can always get him a, a car traveling set for him to keep you know his like shaving kit things like that just a nice travel set um so that's it for guy number two all right, y'all, so here's to guy number three. Guy number three is the hardest to shop for. This guy, he's just into clothing, shoes, hats, things like that. He's just into fashion. To me, I feel like I'm, this one stumped me a little bit. Like, I still feel like the gifts that I decided to go with or to name in this video, I still feel like they slightly on a little, like, since you could do a little bit better than that. But this is what I came up with, okay? Y'all ready? okay so for the guy that is into fashion especially if he's into shoes you can get him a shoe organizer um on amazon they uh have these actual shoe boxes they're clear they save space and he could still show off his shoe collection but in a more organized way especially if he's a guy he likes to keep his shoes in the boxes I don't know why guys do this, but they feel like they have to keep their shoes in the shoe box. If he's a guy like that, you can buy the actual clear shoe containers that is made for displaying shoes. It saves space, you know, especially if he's, if he's a shoe collector, his shoe collection is always growing. This will save him space so that way he can, he can continue to add to his shoe collection. It took a whole lot to say that. I don't know why, sis, but I can't talk today. <laughs> so, okay, in sync. Okay, I'm back. So yeah, um, the shoe containers, I feel like that is a great idea. Um, also, if he's more into hats, same thing for the hats. You can get him a hat organizer, a hat stand, a hat rack. I don't know what you call it, but I have some examples here. Um, because I know guys that are into their hats, they don't really like to have to get them creased up or bent or whatever the case they like to stack them a certain way um so if you get them a hat container hat organizer hat rack whatever you want to call it it will save them space so their growing collection will continue to have room to grow okay um i think that's it like that is all that i came up with i did not want to this video to be long and drawn out i wanted to get straight to the point because we shopping for our men we want them to be excited we want them to feel good the same way they make us feel good for mother's day um so that was all that i came up with ladies if you girls if you got some more ideas go ahead and leave them down in the comment section below help us to out because i'm stuck y'all especially for the guy that's more into fashion I couldn't come up with anything. So if you girls come up with something, just leave it down below. Okay, girls, we can talk about it. We can bounce ideas off of each other. 
we gonna step up from buying these men just socks and drawers, okay? Because they tired of it. I'm tired of it. Over it, okay? Let's show them some appreciation this Father's Day, okay? All right. All right, y'all. That is it that I have for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Also, you do know that I have new videos for my homegirls each and every Wednesday and Saturday. But hit that good old notification bell anyway so that way you're notified each and every time I upload a new video. That is all for now. And I'll see you guys next time on Something About Drea. Bye.